Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining for another vlog. I'm Drew Gibson. We're at Iron Road Crossing Disc Golf Course, and I'm playing with the glitch. So I'm gonna play nine holes today, glitch only. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, let's get it started. Pull two, 291 feet. Decent little headwind, but nothing the bitch can't handle. Par three, 329, uphill, kind of into the same headwind. Um, two under, pretty good putter with the glitch, if I must say so myself. I'd be surprised if I birdied this hole, but probably would take a long putt. Um, see what we can do. Pretty good shot there, actually. <laughs> Can't birdie them all with the glitch, let me tell you. All right, par four, 521 feet. Still in the headwind. Just gotta get it up there, then pitch it down. Maybe try to throw it in for eagle or something. But so far, doing pretty good with the glitch. All right, we got like, I don't know, 200 feet or so in. Uh, threw it over here, kind of hydrated out, didn't really give it enough credit, but see if we can throw it in for Eagle. No Eagle, but easy birdie. All right, 400 through five. Here we have a 413 foot par four. Downhill with the tailwind. I'm gonna see if I can't like really send this one. Um, thank you guys for watching so far. Make sure to go to infinitedisc.com to get your MVP stuff. They're obviously a big supporter of me, big supporter of the channel. The reason I have these MVP discs is because of them. Um, so make sure to go check them out. Thank you guys for watching. Five down through six. I'm not sure how far this hole is because the T sign looks like it got stolen by somebody. But uh, just straight uphill, a little into the tailwind. Shout out to MVP. These discs are really good for being 153 and 152 grams and pretty much a, a catch disc. Like a very stable. I've yet to like turn it over at all. So definitely an awesome disc. Um, 
good for beginners, good for pros. I'm excited to see what Simon does with this. I know that I'm definitely enjoying throwing it, and I don't see why I wouldn't have one in my bag for special occasions or little upshots or, you know, low ceiling putts or whatever. Um, definitely a good disc and definitely fun, so make sure to check them out. All right, par three, 318, uphill. Wind's kind of going right to left, so gonna be hard to turn this one over and keep it high enough to uh, park it, but hopefully you can snag a birdie with a long putt. Um, let's see if I have any skill. Didn't throw it very good. Where I really actually do think the glitch would be very good. On a putt like this, you really want to make it, but you don't want to throw it too hard. I think the glitch, if you want to throw it soft and kind of float it up and in there might be a real benefit for having a disc like this. So let's see if I can do it. Snagged the par, but that is a good use for the disc. And as you can see, I gave it a pretty good run and it didn't go very far at all. So definitely a benefit to using a glitch or any disc that's kind of soft or sonic, pole cat, anything like that. Definitely a benefit is those kind of shots where if I use my normal putter in order to get it under that ceiling, I had to put it pretty hard. So if I airballed like that, I'd probably have been about 30 feet away. So here, the glitch was still just a pretty easy, easy makeable putt. All right, six down through eight. Obviously not bad with the glitch. These holes aren't really all that easy. I'm throwing it pretty good. Let's see if I can get one more birdie here to go seven for nine. I just want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for being a part of my channel and all the stuff that i do it really does mean a lot to me make sure to go in the description of this video and check out the links um squatch greater half finish line infinite ev7 so all types of great stuff in there promo codes all that stuff thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for being a part of this i'll see you guys in the next one